Hello, and once again, thank you to all those listening to me and, and, and supporting me and, and sending me those emails. I'm thoroughly grateful. I had a conversation with a friend of mine who actually gave me a call telling me how she listens to my podcast when she wakes up in the morning and, and, and she says, you know, I, I wish you cracked a bit of humor, you know, and I don't know. I'm just, I probably will at some point and when I get a lot more comfortable with, Sometimes I want to break in the song for for some reason because I'll be I'll be in my car and 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 I'll have this burst of energy and and the reason, the way I the way I address the burst my burst of energies nowadays is is to have a bit of a giggle or a laugh or burst in the song. As people know, I I do write songs and and the last year or so I've been going into the studio and playing with the lyrics and playing with the music and it's been phenomenal it's been quite therapeutic in a way and, and, and like most things I do I I make sure I give back to myself spiritually so it's it's extremely essential that all of us do do cater to our spiritual needs because I think I I think the more we reflect the more we the more we do things that we like simplest ways you know the simple the, the, the simplest of things i i think we should remove all, ourselves away from the crowds and away from the noise and away from the chaos and and and, and take ourselves to a, a spot in nature where we can where we put our music where we put the noise down we we uh, sort of turn off our phones for half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour and and not focus on the rest of the world but but focus on ourselves, but I think you do it in nature. I think nature provides us with a lot of gifts. Nature allows us to soothe our energies, and I and I totally believe in it because I've been practicing it. And conscious, conscious, and on a subconscious level, I have gained quite, quite a lot. I've extracted a lot from from what I've done by by. by extracting myself away from the noise. And I say noise because it is noise. It there's quite a lot of noise and and, and and a lot of noise is is quite harmful and, and, and we get used to it depending on, on our environments, on our upbringing, we get used to it. And and I think it is quite harmful to the to our senses. And in order for us to re replenish and regrow, we need to be able to have a space which is calm and serene, and we need to do, the, do it on a, on a const, constantly on a regular basis. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. I don't know why. I just I burst into song. I I do, and this is and this is what happens to me. And I try to control myself. I like. I like Amazing Grace, and I do Amazing Grace sometimes. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that had saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost. Anyway, um... Anyway, yeah, that 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 mood, that song puts me in the mood sometimes because I used to sing it in school and I used to sing it in church and I used to and and for some reason I find so much of power in the song and, and once again it's nothing to do with religion I think sometimes certain things resonate with us and we need to see why and and we need to hold on to those emotions and to those moments because. In that moment, we tend to gain quite a lot of information uh, about ourselves that helps us to, to be able to, I would say, heal and cure and, and, and gain strength, which, which, is, which, which I feel is phenomenal. It's, it's, it's as I progress in age, I, I understand that my life is not forever. I'm not going to live forever. I could drop dead tomorrow. I could not wake up tomorrow. And, and and yes, I'm still dealing with issues in my life. And and most of us do. We just can't snap out of our sorrows and 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 our experiences and believe and and behave as if as 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 if nothing occurred because that will be just 
probably fooling ourselves. But as long as we, we are aware of the experiences that we've gone through, the hardships that we've experienced, and and the joys that we've experienced, and I think I think we forget. I talk a lot about sorrow for some reason, and 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 now that suddenly that's dawned on me, and and I need to stop probably. I need to stop talking about sorrow and talk about a lot of positives because there are a lot of positives in my life. Where I sit right now, I'm sitting in a very comfortable spot in my home on a comfortable lounge, and I'm reflecting, and I. I've got Cooper next to me, you know, I, I like, I like the space I've created for myself and, and it's not perfect, but it's my space. People define it as if an artist has walked into different sections of my home and regurgitated because I have, I have, I have various influences. So as you walk in, there is this Indian bassinet or, 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 or a little cupboard, a wardrobe, or however you def- or describe it with this, you know, I've, I, I changed the art around as well in my apartment, uh, depending on how I feel. I have butterflies and I have flowers and then I have, I have horses and I have greenery. I have, I have Buddha, you know, I have the cross. I have uh, words from the Quran. Uh, so, so I am quite spiritual. I, I'm, I accept a lot of the religions, a lot of the teachings, and I do it for me and for me alone. And, and and so I would encourage many of you as well, if you are struggling with yourselves. Now, this all this information I'm giving is not for everyone. There are some people who are extremely resilient, some people who will think this is a lot of garbage, but then there are those who will listen to what I have to say and probably go, you know what, it makes sense. I am struggling. You know, I've lived a certain life, and and probably it's very similar to Neil's. And 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 if Neil has been able to uh, extract information from his past and 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 go on, then maybe I can do so, and maybe I can do it better. And if you do it better, I would, I would, I would, I would support you, and I would encourage you to preach the word, to tell people what you've done better, and 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 how you're able to live this life in a more productive sort of way. So anyway, once again, uh, I, I, I tend to ramble. I apologize. I think it's an age thing. But you, all you folks who are listening to me, thank you once again. I All I can ask and request for, and this is to those who are generally good people, who are generally struggling, and who are generally wanting to make a difference to the folks around them, to the people around them, who want to influence young minds to be better minds. You know, it's not Money is important and materialistic things are important and it helps you to distract yourself. But, but what is also important is, yeah, is, is, is experiencing simple things in our lives as well. And, and those simple things could be, you know, a drink of coffee or, or, or Milo, a glass of, you know, I found, was it a few months ago? I, I sat down with a friend of mine and, and he loves Milo. And I haven't drunk Milo in quite a while. And so he made me this really nice chilled glass of Milo. And we sat down in my yard and I took a few sips and it brought a smile to my face. And then <laughs> before you could say Jack, it was all gone. And he looked at me and goes, geez, you really like the Milo. I said, I haven't drunk Milo in a while, but when I used to drink Milo, uh, I used to love the taste and love the flavor. And, 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 and we always, Milo used to put a smile on my face. And, and, and just, you know, it is Milo for me. It's ice cream for me as well, but because I'm diabetic now, I, I've got to stay away from things like ice cream. But no, the, the simple things in life, you know, there is the greater joys and, and, and the expensive cars and, and the wonderful linen and, and, and the Gucci and Prada bags, which I think is a waste of money. Uh, you know, those expensive watches you want to buy. Go ahead and do so if you can afford to do so. Spend, 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 spend. If spending is going to distract you, if spending is going to make you happy, I'm not going to discourage. But what I will tell you to do is take time out while you're shopping for those luxury items. Take time out. Compose yourself. Humility is such a powerful thing. 
Humble yourself. Be grateful that you're in a position that you can do such wonderful things, that you can splurge on these, on these really expensive gifts and distract yourself and, 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 and probably gain happiness. But I want you to be humble because, because there are many people who, who, who don't have your abilities. And, and, and I want you to think about that. And I want you to be able to take pride in what you've achieved and what you've accomplished. And to those who, who, who do, let's say, open quotes, and close quotes, have simple things in, you know, take luxury or, or take solace in the simpler things. I wish you luck as well. And, and, and don't be ashamed because, uh, because it gives you joy. You know, material things are not be all and end all. You can still gain a lot of wealth, a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge through the simple things in life. So, so stay blessed, stay well, wish your families all the happiness and, and prosperity. Take care. Bye-bye.